All right, so this is the first time using my new microphone. Uh, no, I don't want to buy PlayStation Plus right now. Okay, it's going to be a little bit hard to see because I have my new mic here. So I'm trying to find a good position for it. Oh, I forgot, I can just bring it up like this or bring it down. As you can see, my mic is right there, so... Right. Yeah, I'm still trying to find a good position for the mic here. So I'll be experimenting with that. You know what? Here's what I could do. I could... Bring it like that, and then bring the pop filter down here, and just put it in front, because I'll be leaning like this. Uh, let's see. Let me take that off. That way it can bend like that. There we go. That should work fine. I'm just sending this out to a couple of my friends. There we go. Alright. Everything good? Alright. Let's move the pop filter a little bit closer. There we go. Alright. I can't really see the stuff on the side here though, that's going to be a problem. Let me see if I can just move it there, like that. Yeah, that'll work, because I'm talking this way, and it'll, okay, yeah, that'll work. Alright, I have this guy down here. Goes below void seven. Nice, nice. Rostering holy grease. Wonder if you can parry these guys. I don't think so. That sounds a bit loud. Ow. You know what? You're getting the cheese.
Ow. Well. Okay, so Wing of Estelle, we need to upgrade that. Um, move that a little bit more. There we go, that should work fine. Uh, let's use Moonveil. Um, there's something behind here, I forget. Oh, there is. Let's grab that. Some magic grease. Uh, the item in here, I already got it. Uh, it's the ant skull plate, that shield that I was talking about. Ants called plates in there. Just one fan dagger? Seriously? Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, you can shield break them? I didn't know that. Here, let me, uh... Are these guys not gonna attack or something? Oh, no, okay. Let me try... Apparently you can guard break them it looks like, so I wonder if you can repost them after that. Alright, listen here. Oh, Ghost Glow for what Picker's Bell Bearing. That's exactly what I was looking for. I believe there should be something behind here, if I remember correctly. Yep. I think I know what this is. Yep, the Archer. Archer guys. Oh, there's where the Dragon Gun Soldier of Noxtella was. Oh, gotta be careful. Yeah, so, uh, gold counters are really good against those guys, so, 
a lot of people say that like god countering isn't really as viable a strategy but you, as you can see from that it's absolutely you can absolutely get it to work well i feel like uh, nope, just that one Samba 7, I will take that. Now we have the ball. Start upgrading the pulley crossbow so I can get that going. Okay, so you can carry them. So maybe just block the first two. Yeah, let me try. Block. Okay, so block. Block. Parry. There we go. Alright, so here should be the Nox Swordstress puppet. Night Maiden Swordstress. It's actually interesting because their AI will kind of like work with each other and like go back and forth between who attacks and who doesn't. Wow, that is a fastball. Alright, however. See if I can this keeps going the crap out of me, man. There we go. And we get a low voltage from that. There's something on the side over here? Maybe, I don't remember. No, okay. That would have been a great place for an item though.
Now I feel like I feel like there are going to be some level tiers that fall down here. Oh no, maybe that's up the stairs. There's another one that's like Great Ghost Glowwood. Saw it. No, okay, there was an item. Okay, now there's definitely something over here. Oh, another golden centipede. Another smithing stone six. I feel like there should be something in there, but there isn't. Okay, apparently I dropped my runes somewhere. Oh yeah, over there. I forgot about that. I'll go grab those later. Or not, because we'll go, we're doing like a loop around, so. Alright. And the ball is gonna fall down, so what if we. That is so many of them. What? How many, dude? How many of them are there? Charge! He'd say that's the last of them. Another level 7. Oh my god! That actually scared the crap out of me. Get your little butt back here. Level 6, that means I can upgrade the wing of Estelle.
Wow, they are vulnerable to bleed. I still have this one though. Let me see, do I have anything that can help me out here? Oh, it's because I'm out of FP, so the actual, like, thing... Yeah, so it only causes the extra parry frames if that's active. Which, because I used up all my FP, it's not active. Moon of Noxtella. I believe that gives us uh, memory slots by two. I believe there is an item behind here as well. Yep. A nascent butterfly. Why is there a golden seed tree down here? I'm worried about that. All right, anything else behind here? Nope, okay. Another stone sword key. Thanks, game. I don't need it, but thank you. Mm. Okay, so I need to charge it to kill them in one hit. Whole bunch of poor mech rock around here. I wonder if Formic Rock is a real thing. Let's see. Oh, uh, there's metamorphic rocks. Uh, but nothing of form. Well, there is such thing as formic acid, apparently. So, maybe... Maybe in this game, form... Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because the, the um, ants spit acid at you. And that acid probably just falls on the ground and hardens over time into the box. 
That's why it's called Acid Spray Mist. Oh my god, I am... I am a genius. Level eight. More ants. I think we will use oracular bubble on these guys. Ah, kill the midair. Get wrecked. Alright, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, that's gonna be like another celestial do. I have literally zero need of that. Level 9, which should mean we should be able to max out another spirit. Uh, is that everything that's down here? Okay. So before we rest, let's go back up since we cleared all those enemies out. to level seven. Mm -hmm. All right, there should be some stuff up there. Oh, hold up. I think I see another. 
There we go, another silver firefly. I found craft ten more of those. Once I get the foul footsies. Okay, so it looks like you gotta actually block the attack in order to one-shot them. Because it, it'll bounce- it bounces back their shield. How much- Wow, that does a lot of damage. How much does it do unguarded? Still the same damage, okay. So it looks like it's just the... Because uh, this has only 19 lightning absorption, so... That makes sense. Let's see, anything in here? Oh, just another golden centipede. Anything on the side? Nope, okay. That should be enough to take out the other ones with the chain explosion, so maybe not. Maybe they just need one more. That should be enough. Or maybe not. Weaves. Ghost Glove what eight? Alright, then there's going to be these snails over here, who you can farm for serpent arrows. I also picked up some of the items around here anyway, it was mostly just runes. So, nothing really important. Except for this item, I don't know what this is. Just drop that right there. Kaboom! Another Celestial Dew. One of the most useless items in this game. Uh, there was another nascent butterfly all the way back over there.
There we go. Let's lure him into it. And then take him out. Drop one of those there. Let him walk into it and get wrecked. Alright, so four, five, six, so we need four more silver fireflies. Alright, let's go back here and then we'll get to the Lake of Rot. Even when I turned my blithe remained he, <laughs> though he was created, he was a colossal flythe, and yet, that I must betray everything. Ah, another one. Ah, I've let slip forget what thou... Ah, I've let forget what... Alright, let's grab the rest of those. Right, let's see, anything with normal ones that I want to upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade the Staff of Loss. That should be pretty helpful here. Just unplug my phone, put it right there so I can at least read comments. Can't say enough like on TV. Let me just move it like that. There we go, because now you can at least still hear my voice. And it's not going directly onto the microphone, so... It's not as bad. Well, not as bad, but it'll keep the microphone from breaking or wearing down. Well, less of a chance of breaking it. Six, seven. Two level sixes, and we can upgrade that. Nice, nice. All 
Oh, yeah, we can also get the new, um... New bell bearing thing. We can hand that in. That'll be nice. Uh, Matic Merchants. I just killed that guy just so I could hand it in. What does he actually have? Uh, he's that guy. Okay. Anyway. Now we can buy up to level 6. Level five, I think. Oh no, just two more level five, because I already have one, so. I wonder if there's a difference between roiling and boiling. Roiling. Roil. Make a liquid, turbid, or muddy by disturbing the sediment. Or make someone annoyed or irritated. Agitated vigorously in a state of turbulence. Yeah, so like unstable. So, roiling magma meaning unstable magma. So, kind of like how volcanoes will sometimes like bubble and burst the lava. I guess that's what that is meant to be. Right, we don't have enough to get more of them, that's alright. We'll continue on until we get to the League of Rot. Now we have the Basilisks. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I don't know if they're actually called Basilisks in this game. They were called that in Dark Souls, but... I don't need level 4s. Give me more level 6. You just gave me more level 6 in the past area. Level 5, I will take that though, thanks. So we have to take him out. He's actually not the real Blight, he's actually a Black Knight Assassin who um, is taking the appearance of Blight. And he stands exactly like Guts does in oh, the Shadow. Berserk game. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers. That Rani the Witch cometh, to rend thy flesh with a fateful wound, ne'er to heal. He can heal! Get wrecked. My thanks. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Bly and E.G. I love them. Alright, one, two, three. We need one more silver firefly. I can just grab that later. Now 
Now you can see all this rot around here. That because that's because we're getting to the worst area in the history. What well, one of the worst areas in the history of the uh, of From Software's games, the Lake of Rot. So interestingly, there's like three different kinds of rot. There's a lesser rot where if you just stand in it um, and then get out of it and let the yeah, in fact, I think I'll demonstrate. It's really cool because uh, the amount of like, details they added. Alright, uh, we'll keep it at 9. So, there's a lesser version, where if you just roll around in it and let it build up the bar, it will do less damage than if you just stood in it and took the rot that way. Yeah, I'll demonstrate. That's how much damage it's doing. But, I'll show it here with uh, going down here to grab that item, because we're going to get Scarlet Rotted anyway. You'll see how the damage is actually doing more now. And the third and strongest variant of Scarlet Rot comes from the Scarlet Aeonia spell. Alright, so now that we made it there, that's the end of uh, Noxtella Eternal City. And then we're, the next thing to do is Lake of Rot, and then the, um, I forget what it's called, the, um... Well, I'll tune you it's called. Anyway, uh, I think we'll max out this. Well, not max it out, but get it upgraded. All right, there we go. So that is Lake of Rot. Actually, you know what? One thing I'll just do quickly, just in the area, is I will just uh, open one of the platforms or activate one of the platforms. So I can show you how to farm uh, Aeonian Butterflies, if you want to do that. Because there are Basilisks in here, and the Basilisks in here will drop uh, Aeonian Butterflies uncommonly. So, as you can see, Aeonian Butterflies, they will drop them uncommonly. Well, kind of commonly if you have a high enough discovery. That way you don't have, you won't ever run out of rot butter... rot butterflies? Rotterflies, I'll call them. Uh, Alright. So, uh, that's gonna be it for this stream, and then probably tomorrow... I will, um, hold on, tomorrow is the 21st, yeah, my 
parts from my 2DS are getting here, so maybe during the stream uh, we'll take a little break and I can just focus my camera and we can do a little uh, replacing of parts. That will be pretty cool. Plus you'll see the inside of a 2DS, which is pretty cool.